A big old Seki Toga. She's the star for them. She will be the fullback. Holly Meeks and Jaina Ransom, the wingers. Nanise Vakakavu and Charlotte Elkawate. Seneva Sayanga and Jonty Fitzgerald in the halves. Tia Young and Tyler Kingdon, the front row. Tiana Story will be the hook of the back row. Elisa Pekabari and Ellie Nikki, they are some standouts as well. Players to watch there in the 11 and 12. And Eve Genders locking the scrum for the Northern Territory. We'll look at the West Australian side as well. April Allen, the fullback. Alkira Dane and Tanika Donivati in the centres. Melody Toby and Rachel Lowndes completes the back five. Nicolel Dyington and Anahara Terahu is the halfback. Adelaide Falmao Silifala scored a double in their game yesterday. She's in some good form. Samantha Wood, Deborah Vinnie, Tyler Edwards, Aliyah Gray and Shanae Proctor. The bench for them. Tananef was a try scorer yesterday. And Cheyenne Carney has two this tournament as well. Another to watch in the 17. And you can't ask for much more in terms of the conditions today. Sun is shining. Beautiful weather as we've had every day here. Of course, day four of the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship. We have a jam-packed program. We'll have four live matches for you, as I said, starting with this one between Western Australia and the Northern Territory. It's third in Pool A versus third in Pool B. And that'll be followed at 10 a.m. by the Queensland Sapphires and New South Wales Country. Our runners-up in their respective groups. The Sapphires were finalists last year. And uh, they were touched up yesterday, it has to be said, by New South Wales City. 40 points to nil. No one saw that coming. And the Open Age National Final will follow at 11 a.m. You'll see that one here live on NRL.com, also on KO Sports. New South Wales Country and Western Australia. Western Australia, the defending Open Age champions. And then at 12.15, under-19 National Final, the defending champions, Queensland Rubies, take on New South Wales City. And as I mentioned, City in dominant form so far this tournament. But the Rubies, they have a crown to defend. They themselves were impressive yesterday, 22 points to four. They defeated New South Wales country to win Pool B. If you are in the southeast Queensland area and you want to come down, it is free entry today. And the action, if you've had a chance to be with us either here live at the Gold Coast or on NRL.com, We've seen some highly entertaining women's rugby league, and it's only going to continue as the stakes get higher today. Adam Santarossa here with you. Ladies Thanks for your company ladies. as Western Welcome Australia make their way Australia. out. On to Bob Singoval. <laughs> Had their first win of the tournament yesterday, an 18-4 win over Victoria, which secured their spot here as third place in Pool A. While the Northern Territory themselves... Pushed the Queensland Rubies in day two, almost bringing a surprise. Just the class of the Rubies shining there at the end. And they had a good win over South Australia yesterday, which was finished with about eight minutes left on the clock due to an injury yesterday. But at that time, they were ahead 18 points to four. So enough for them to finish third in their group. And as I mentioned, the stars to watch, Seki Toga in the number one. Some individual brilliance this Let's tournament and both Bari and Nikki. Two to watch as well there in the back row. The NT make their way out. On to Bob Singh Oval for the final time this tournament. We'll also keep you updated. There are some games in action on other grounds as well. The Open Age Playoff, fifth and sixth Northern Territory in the ADF and the First Nations Gems in Victoria as well as fourth in the respective pools in the under-19 competition. We'll keep you updated as best we can. The best place to be for it all is right here on NRL.com. And we will have those two finals on KO Sports as well from 11 and 12.15, the Open Age National Final, New South Wales Country and WA, and then under-19s, New South Wales City and the Queensland Rubies. That one will be a blockbuster. Good crowd starting to filter in too. It's been well supported over these four days as Sekitoga looks to get us underway. <laughs> Playing for the best third place side in this tournament. First time these two neighbours have met, WA and the NT. In action for the final time. We are underway on finals day. They go with a short kickoff. Second Toga. Some work to do for Melanie Toby. And they'll start their set. 40 out from their own line. Look for 
Those names I mentioned, Famosili Fala with a double yesterday in that win over South Australia. Carney too in the pink headgear. She will take a charge here, has two tries this tournament. Corrala well though, three of them in the tackle. Famosili Fala gets in the first receiver as well. So out over halfway. Two 20-minute periods as we see in the under-19s today. All our games, two 20-minute periods here on our final day. Strong tackle there on Donny Batty. Played on the 40. Leddington will do the kicking on the last. Goes across field. Difficult kick to contend with from Hills, but she does it well enough. And Mistake-free first set from WA will please them. Do love to throw the ball around. There was a hint of a bobble there from Charlie Simmons at dummy half, but expected to get up to 20 degrees today here on the Gold Coast. So some hot temperatures to contend with. Both of these sides should be relatively familiar with those. They have had quite the schedule in recent days as well. So Yanga takes it to the line. Genders will play it. 40 out from the line. Good start from both in this one. Bit of an earlier for two for both of these sides, it should be said as well. Earlier kickoff today. That's a bruising tackle and a slow play of the ball. So they go all the way back to Fitzgerald. She'll do the kicking and here's a task for WA, but done well by Tumala. So both get full marks for their first sets in this one. No mistakes. Now Tumuala gets another run short side. Wood into dummy half. Here's Carney. Second charge for her. Good footwork at the line. Powers over the 40. Looking to offload as well. well I said they were error free. No longer. NT with it. And a full set. 40 out from the line. Sanger. Runs it. Good footwork from Bari. Try scorer yesterday. Now Fitzgerald. Through the hands it goes. T Young to play it. Lined up to the left. Fitzgerald goes in that direction. Looks for a cutout ball. Bari's there as well. If they can get the arm free, El Kawate. Chance for the Northern Territory. Bari's so hard to stop. Eventually they do that. Seven out from the line. First points. Do they come the way of the Northern Territory? Seki Toga, off the right she goes. Such a star this tournament. Shrugging off defenders left and right. She's going to reach out. Has she got there? Just short. Cued out to the right. If they put it through the hands, they'll put it to the toe. If they can work it out. It still should be first points to the NT. They're over the line. Do they get it down cleanly? They do. And Vakakavu's the try scorer. And the NT credit the work of first Bari and then Seki Toga. They stretch them. And they have the first try in this one. Well, they had the overlap. You see three players to one out on the right. And Sayanga summed it up and said, I'm going to put it on the toe. And Vakakabu did the rest. First try to the Northern Territory. So Seki Toga looking to convert. Trying to turn four into six. Good connection. Do the flags go up? They do, in fact. So a 6-0 lead to the Northern Territory. First five minutes of this one. And that mistake from WA compounds into a try to the Northern Territory.
So Western Australia have us underway again. Sayanga takes it off the kickoff. Press with her involvement early in this game. Get her hands on the ball a lot more than we saw yesterday. Making some good metres here in the early sets, Northern Territory. Look up for this contest. Here's Nikki, takes it to the line and don't know that genders knew too much of that. In fact, it was El Kuate who put it down. So let off and a chance for WA to hit back with a full set in the NT half. Here is the replay. She does love taking it to the line, does Nikki. I don't know that El Kuate was exactly expecting that. So they go on a short side play. Here's Toby. Pull down. Fitzgerald doing the tackling. Terahui, short ball. Good strong charge from Vinny. And it has them 20 out from the line. Chance for first points for Western Australia. And to hit back, Leddington throws it through the hands. It was out in front of Tyler Edwards and just spilt. Had a bit of heat on the ball. And it did have them finding some space on the edge, but the pass had to stick, and it didn't. Here you see it, Leddington. Right idea. She saw they had them stretch two on one. Had to hold on to that. So Western Australia, hands letting them down. So far in this one. In these two by 20 minute games, you do have to really respect possession because if you put a couple of tries down, the clock can tick away from you very quickly. It's Northern Territory who wants to add to this lead. If you're just joining us, it's finals day here at Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship on the Gold Coast. Bumper program today. You'll see every game live here at Pizzy Park. Under 19 and open age national finals to come. Here's Nikki again going to the line, fending off, spinning out of the tackle of Carney. Looks to offload and does so. Fitzgerald. Both she and Bari can get that second phase going. A dummy to Bari on the left. Instead, T Young will take a settler. Last tackle now. Will Sayanga go to the air herself? She does. It's another testing kick for the w ba WA back five, but it's one that Rachel Lowndes does well. Sun shining here on the Gold Coast. It is a warming morning here in Burley. Tough work for the players early. Western Australia had to do some defensive work, more so than the NT, given their errors. It could be a one-on-one -on -one steal here. WA still in possession as Edwards plays it. Reminder, this is third in pull A versus third in pull B. Western Australia defeating Victoria yesterday to claim third spot. Likewise, the NT against South Australia. Carney puts it through the hands. Toby, nice work on the edge to Western Australia. They do flirt with the sideline, but Tumwala can stay in. Wood goes on a scurry, does the kicking. Was that touched by the NT? Won't be a decision, they'll say no. In fact, they'll say it was touched, so I'll get a full set of six. 35 out from the line. Aaliyah Gray with a charge, turning it inside now. Wood into dummy half. Doesn't mind a scoot from there. Leddington shows it to the line. Rampaging run there from Edwards. Lined out to the left. Again, Leddington takes it to the line. They're five out from it. Searching for a way to hit back. All in the territory. Finding first points. Second phase of this first half. 
Northern Territory asked to do some defensive work. Wood goes for a scoot. Has she got that down? No. Lost it, attempting to put it over the try line. And backslaps all around from the NT. They're a little slow getting their line set here. The marker's just the one. And it was fumbled by Edwards as she tried to burrow under. It's another error for Western Australia in this one. Just a reminder, wherever you're watching, thanks for your company today. Adam Santorossa here with you in commentary. Four games scheduled. Our Open Age National Final at 11am. And the Under-19s National Final to follow at 12.15. You'll see them both here live on NRL.com and KO Sports as well. If you are here on the Gold Coast, do get down to Bob Sing Oval. We are seeing an amazing carnival of Women's Rugby League. As the stakes get higher, as NT are away again, El Kawate needs support in the backfield. She fends away Allen, the fullback, looks to get the arm free. She's still going. I don't think they'll stop her. She reaches for the line, gets the offload, and the NT have another try. Holly Meeks will touch down, but it's all the work of Nanise El Kawate. Well, the big number four, she made the break. And just raced away from the cover defence. Nice work at the line. Support slow in coming. Fend away Allen and it was just determination to get there. Western Australian players on the scene and great poise to keep the ball alive. And Meeks gets reward for her follow up. And the Northern Territory get their second. Once again, it's a try off an error from Western Australia. They were so close to the line themselves. Knocking on over the line. Northern Territory go up the other end and add to the lead. Sekitoga can add another two points. Take it to two converted tries. Not this time. Flags waved away, so it remains ten points to nil. Third in pool A versus third in pool B this one. Northern Territory who are enjoying things early six and a half minutes remaining two by 20 minute halves in this one following this we'll see second in pool A versus second in pool B the Queensland Sapphires and New South Wales country the Sapphires still reeling from that heavy defeat yesterday in the deciding game in pool A went down 40 points to nil to New South Wales City it was 24 nil at half time Eight tries in all to City. And then New South Wales country, they were in the fight with the Queensland Rubies for much of the game. A couple of late tries from the Rubies extended it, but they will look to knock off the Sapphires and runners up in each group come together after this. 10 a.m. You'll see that one here live. And then the Open Age National Final at 11, New South Wales country in Western Australia. The New South Wales City and the Queensland Rubies in our final in the under 19s. Defence aiming up here as we edge towards half time. Western Australia don't want to leak any more points. They're away again, the NT. It's Nikki with the footwork. Has support coming. Sayanga there. She's running away from them. Still going. They can't stop the number 12. Nikki still going. Fending. It's a 50-metre run. They have them reeling, WA. They're slow to get back as well, and they may pay a heavy price. Seki Toga charging forward. She should score and does. All a little bit too easy in the end by the Northern Territory. And that repeated defence. Fatigue creeping in, and Abigail Seki Toga adds another try to her ledger this tournament. But what about the work from Ellie Nicky beforehand? Swatting 
would be tacklers away and you see them slow to get back in Sekitoga. Well, it was all too easy to find a hole and she can convert the try and take it to 16 points to nil. Now has three tries in three games, Abigail Sekitoga. In fact, it's going to be Sayanga who takes over the goal-kicking duties. Good connection, doesn't have the legs, it does. So 16-0 and a big blow to Western Australia just before half time. Let's look at the try again. It was Ellie Nicky who got them from their own half close to the try line. And from there, it was all Seki Toga. Defence didn't rush out to meet her. Fends off a couple. Carney did her best, but no denying their third try. So restarting again. So we head closest to the break here on NRL.com. Day four of the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship on the Gold Coast. Third in pool A versus third in pool B. It's their stars that are standing up. Mention the likes of Sekitoga and Nikki pregame. We'll feature for them and talk about emerging talents in women's rugby league. There's two of them. Sayanga takes it to the line. El Kawate, good hands. They want more points before half time. They have just over two minutes to find a fourth try and really take the game away from Western Australia. Nikowate is racking up the touches his first half. Heavily involved. Nikki doing the kicking. Sits up. Four lounds. Nice footwork from her. Eventually brought down. 20 out from the line. Scoot from dummy half is Melody Toby. Lands a little proppy after that run. She's just on her haunches behind play. So the NT will get perhaps a final set as Carney. Strong run yet again from her. She has really churned up the meters this tournament. Really a forward leader as great. Hands off a couple, looks to offload, does so. Wood has it for WA. Can they find points before the break? Leddington, room to move out wide if they can get it there. Donny Vati might do it on her own. Oh, she got the footy away. I think El Kira Dane scored, but it was always going to be difficult. I'll go to the short side. Lennington can see the danger there. Keeps it alive, but have they knocked it on? They have. So yet again, the opportunity goes begging for Western Australia. They have had their chances. We just have a NT player down, so hence the stoppage. But it's three tries to nil. Bakakavu Meeks and Seki Toga, the try scorers for the Northern Territory. So Northern Territory will have a couple of Tackles to contend with to take us to half time. Yeah. Second half to follow here, and then the Queensland Sapphires and New South Wales Country also have some games in action on some of the outer fields as well. So I'll keep you updated. The open age playoffs, Northern Territory currently 
taking on the ADF in the First Nations Gems in Victoria. Also on an adjoining ground. So we'll try and keep you updated for all those results and all the latest out of the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship. Well, that's a knock on. Not what they needed on the first tackle because it will present a chance. If they can get set quickly for Western Australia. I'll hurry to the scrum. Clock continues to tick away. I'll probably have maximum two tackles if they get it fed quickly. Lennington does that. They go to the base of the scrum. Terahui takes it to the line. Wood, they have room out wide if they can put it through the hands. Toby, chance for the corner for Western Australia. Have they got there? Touches flags in the air. Lowndes is claiming the try, and they're going to say no. So another chance they can't grab. And at half time, it's the Northern Territory, courtesy of three tries to nil. Highly entertaining first 20 minutes. Half time, Northern Territory 16, Western Australia nil. Let's look at the tries from that first half. And here's the first of them. It was Akakavu who opened the scoring. In fact, this is the third try. Sekitoga, the run of Nikki, swatting away defenders in Sekitoga. Too easy for her third try this tournament. This is how it started. Sayanga saw they had players out wide, three in an overlap, and Vakakavu did well to finish that one. That was the opening try. It was off a Western Australian mistake. So too this one. And it was all El Kawate. Charlotte Okawate makes the break. Had no support with her. And it's just pure strength and determination. Swatting away the chasing Western Australian players. And had the presence of mind to keep the ball alive. And Holly Meeks scores an easy try and some reward for her follow-up. And that's how they did it. Half time. 16 points to nil. A brief break from us when we return the second half between the Northern Territory and Western Australia. Yes, welcome back to Bob Singh Oval. The second half about to get underway between the Northern Territory and Western Australia. Northern Territory in a 16-0 lead. Three tries to nil in that first half. Western Australia not without their chances. They spill the ball over the line a couple of times in final seconds of that half. It was Lowndes who was bundled out over the sideline. It's the NT who will charge back through Isabando. They just need to complete their sets and not invite Western Australia back into this contest. They do have some attacking potential WA. They can find the points. Three straight tries yesterday against South Australia. Nikki continues to swap them away and prove hard to stop. Eventually it takes three of them to limit her charge forward. They are high on confidence, uh, the Northern Territory. And control of this one. Plenty of time left, though, to turn it around. Sayanga takes it to the line. Good dummy. Hey, just shy of the 40. Nick by Vinny. Mukawate back, and Nikki does the kicking. Hangs it up in the air for Donny Vati. Does a fine job in making a good one-on-one -on -one tackle. You are just tuning in here on NRL.com. Welcome to day four, Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship finals day. Under-19's action on your screens. Pool A and Pool B third place sides facing off. It's the Northern Territory in command as Western Australia handling errors have let them down. Vinny, good charge from her. Haven't seen too much out of her front row partner in... Falma Silifala scored a double in their game yesterday. Tadanev, another who shot in that win. In our final game yesterday. Last tackle now. Lettington. She's the spark for them in the half. Doing the kicking. Cross field kick may have some benefits. It was Toby who spilt it. NT were crying out saying no, we're in front of the kicker, but it's redundant now as 
the knock-on turns possession back to the Northern Territory. Do have the Northern Territory in action on the outside field here in Burley, taking on the ADF in a fifth versus sixth playoff in an open age competition. We'll keep you updated in that game as well. Currently nil nil. They have had strong support, plenty coming from the territory to cheer on their side. What to cheer about here, as I say that, Sayanga. I've said it's gone back, so fortunate El Kawate has been a star for them today. Certainly her best showing this tournament. Again, Western Australia a little slow to set, and it's a knock on in the play of the ball. Here's the replay. Where does the ball come loose? There you see it. Just the bobble as Kowate tried to play it. A chance for Western Australia to find a way back into this game. Been over the line twice, but a knock on and foot on the sideline has denied them points. A lot closer than the scoreline suggests. Played on the halfway through Vinny. Cued out to the left. Terahui takes it to the line. Gray plays it. Lettington turns it inside. Edwards, good powerful run. Trying to get that left arm free as well. Trying for a one-on-one -on -one steal. Well, with the more than one in the tackle, I'll say that they rolled out of it. And Eve Genders. Good work. In fact, it was Bakakavu who stole it one-on-one. -on -one and Northern Territory back in possession. Reminder of what's to follow. In around 20 minutes' time, we'll have Queensland Sapphires and New South Wales Country, second in each group, playing off in the under-19s. Sapphires going down, 40 points to nil to New South Wales City. Second, Toga goes straight through the middle. Something seems to happen every time she touches it. And they're scrambling again, Western Australia. Looking at ominous for more points, the NT. Sayanga. Play it 20 out from the line on the last. Second, Toga. I'll put it through the hands. Fitzgerald, they've got them short. Out on the left, if they can work it out. Nikki, still the last. Sekitoga. Now she kicks. Lounge hasn't got there. It might sit up here for Vakakavu. Is that the second? They'll say no. In front of the kicker. All offside. And off the hook there. Western Australia, because another try to the NT, you feel. They would not have enough time to pull it back. Vakakavu thought she had a double. Halfway, Reese. Just halfway in there. Thank you. The poise from Sekitoga. Up here, nine, nine. Up here, nine, 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 nine. Just summed it up, saw that they had players out to the right, and lovely little kick that almost paid dividends. There's some strong contact. Is that a knock on? It is. So Western Australia, their own worst enemy, Aaliyah Gray, saying, well, they wouldn't let me play it. It will be a scrum. Here's the replay. There you see the contact. It's been physical all four days of this championships. And they just survived. Conceding a fourth try, they'll have a full set, 35 out from the line, Northern Territory to stretch this lead. Nikki at the scrum base, here's Sekitoga. Room to move out wide, we tackle one on one, Donny Vati. Oh. 
Fence aiming up, it's Wood one on one, and they've pushed them back. Losing ground here. Here is Bari. Strong charge again. They do make the meters. Rather easily, these two. Now Nikki will follow up. 50 metre charge before. Is she going to get through again? So hard to handle. Is that raked out? It is. So they survived to this point. This will be a third straight set on their line. Can Nikki help herself to the try? Not on the try scoring list yet today. She's centimetres short of the line. They search for a fourth. Another penalty. So ill discipline costing Western Australia as they try to hang into this contest. Plenty of time left. Be hard to keep them out here. Bari. Takes five of them to stop. Sekitoga wants to chime in as well. Sayana screaming for it. Here is the number six with it. Goes on her own. Lined out to the right. Fitzgerald spins it in that direction. El Kawate wants to try. Can she reach out and claim it? She can. Spins out of the tackle. Charlotte El Kawate has a try. And this lead extends even further. She laid one on for Meeks in the first half. Now she can add her name to the try list for Northern Territory. Caps off a fine display today with a try. Here you see it. Footwork at the line was not going to be denied. The lead now, 20 points to nil. Charlotte. Look scoring. I mentioned their stars in the pre-game, Sekitoga, Bari and Niki. And they were all involved in that set. No surprise. It's finished with points. Sekitoga looking to add more. Is that one going to come round? No, it will stay right of the post. And it remains 20 points to nil. Four tries to nil. Northern Territory in command against Western Australia. So underway again, second stanza in the second half, inside the final 10 minutes. So hang up, wanted to play it quickly. Oh, hit from Fama Silifala. Hardly mentioned her today, and we've had a mistake in that hit. Charlie Simmons it was who was crunched. She has stayed down, hopefully. Nothing serious, but let's look at it again. Maybe a bit of frustration from Falmacilli Fala. I thought they could have got a penalty. Uh, Sayanga had a leg held off. And the big number eight lined Simmons up and crunch. Filling the midsection is Simmons. Gets to her feet now and receives the applause of the fans who are strolling in to Bob Sing Oval here in Burley. It is free entry, so if you are around the Gold Coast looking for something to do on your Sunday afternoon, make sure you do pop down. We have some bumper games to come. Following this one at 10, Queensland Sapphires will take on New South Wales Country. Then in the Open Age National Final at 11, you'll see it live here on NRL.com and also on KO Sports. New South Wales Country take on Western Australia. 
And then 12-15, our under-19 national final, New South Wales City and the Queensland Rubies. So nine minutes remain. Western Australia, their defence gives them an opportunity to open the scoring in this one. Penalty will help their cause. Mark back here. What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. 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 Been their forward leader all tournament. As she spilts it there, she has. Didn't like a bit of the back chat coming the way of Northern Territory. It was she who earned her side possession with that crunching hit. Yeah, it's her error that hands it back to the NT. A bit of frustration creeping into WA. They've had their opportunities to find the try line. As I mentioned, they've been over it twice. Now Nikki from the scrum backs. Need to stand out in this one. Nikowatsi would have a nomination there as well. Bari takes it to the line. Good work. To Genders. Final eight minutes of the tournament for both of these sides. Nikki puts it through the hands. Now Hills. She slammed down in a strong tackle, just shy of the 40. Meeks, try scorer today. They're aiming up. Western Australia trying to force an error. Sekitoga chimes in the number one. Flicks it out the back. Mickey will finally take the tackle. 30 out from the line. Last tackle now. Sanger, does she go to the air again? They choose to run it on the last now. Kicking him behind. Work for Lowndes to do. Does it well, the winger. Good run. 20 metres for Tananef. Charging RWA. Not giving up on this one. 20 points to nil, they trail. Leadington spins it wide. Terahui, they've spilt the ball this time though. They don't want to open up again because there could be more points coming. High tackle. Not going to help the cause, and they are very slow getting back Western Australia. So they have a player down. It's Tanika Donivati. These hot conditions here on the Gold Coast today. Hard work for the players who have had physical three days here at the Harvey Norman National Women's Championship. Currently 17 degrees. We'll be back here, ladies, Not yet 10 a.m. Looking for a top of 20 today. <laughs> Reminder of what's await, what awaits the schedule following this one. Under 19, second in Pool A, the Queensland Sapphires will take on the runners up in Pool B, New South Wales Country. And then from 11, our open age finals, New South Wales Country and WA. And then New South Wales City and the Queensland Rubies. Both of those mouth-watering clashes. Western Australia, the defending open age champions. They beat the First Nations Gems in Golden Point last year. Um, there should be on Looking for a similarly close final. And then New South Wales City, who are in sensational form. 40-0. They beat the Queensland Sapphires yesterday. Five first half tries, eight in all. And the Rubies, 22 points to the four. They defeated New South Wales country to top their group. So looking forward to that. You'll see it all live on NRL.com. And those two finals from 11 and 12.15, also live on KO Sports.
Hoping this is not a serious injury for Donny Vati, her final game. I don't think she's going to play any further part in this one with the six minutes remaining. Hopefully not a serious injury. So it looks as though Western Australia are going to end their tournament with a defeat. Just back in line with the touch judge. You see our penalty here. And April Allen preparing to come on to... Just seeing Donny Vati come off the field, it looks to be a knee injury. <laughs> Guys tuning in, final stages of our first game here on day four, finals day in the NRL Harvey Norman Women's Championship. Third in Pool A versus third in Pool B in our under-19s portion of the competition. Northern Territory looking like claiming honours and will be searching for more points to stretch this lead even more. I'm hoping the injury to Tanika Donivati is not a serious one. We're back underway though. No surprise, it's Eli Nikki on the attack. Flicks it out the back to Sayanga. Off the left and right, the number six. Takes the tackle, five out from the line. Surging for more points. They've got them out left if they want it. Sayanga setting the back line to the right. Eli Nikki there as well. They go to the blind side this time. WA there in number. Trying to fight out the tackle. For a moment I thought they got it down. Story looking to play it. Just overcooking things, a little bit sloppy all of a sudden, both sides. Will be an error from the Northern Territory, and you feel the try going begging on that occasion. So the clock continues to tick away for Western Australia. Yet to open the point scoring in this game, but they've seen the try line a couple of times. Lost the ball over it, and Lowndes was bundled out over the sideline as she put the ball down. So a little bit of luck, and it could have been a different story. Here is Lowndes trying to spark something late for her side. Tananef, another who has impressed this tournament for Western Australia. Still they work in search of points and still not held, so Tyler Edwards can get it out over the 40. Lettington to the line they go. Last tackle now. Do they get expansive and put it through the hands? Wood, Falmasili Fala, strong charge. Oh, sorry, it's the last now. 40 up from the line. Doing the kicking is Tara Hui. Sekitoga comfortably picking it up. Was that an obstruction? Strong fan has her out over the 40. So inside the final four minutes of this one, Northern Territory in control, courtesy of four tries to nil. Do they have more points in them? Just the four live games here on NRL.com. You can see the finals to come. Open Women's Championship and Under-19 National Final to follow later today. Nikki, nice ball playing at the line. Hills promotes the footy. Still there for them. Fitzgerald claimed... Last tackle now, 25 out from the line. Fitzgerald goes down the short side, kicking. Looks as though too much on this, and 
easily dead and come back to the 20. Only have a couple of sets to find some points. Strip there on Melody Toby. So that'll help them march up the field. Take a quick tap. Here's Falmar Silifala. In their forward leader, charging. Still going, needs support. Met in a good tackle by Bakakabu over the top. And Ginger. The NT center after it, but. Strong charge, Western Australia, not going to give up on this one. Tyler Edwards, has them 30 out. They've been over the try line, but no points as yet. Leadington. Ursek, well met by Elkawate. Inside the final, final 90 seconds. Leadington, Carney. Carney to play it. This is the final chance for Western Australia to affect the scoreboard in this one. Carney spins it left. Leddington. Going to do the kicking. Well handled at the back by Meeks. She'll race away again. Great run. Gets them 30 out from their own line. So inside the final minute, is there an exclamation mark on this performance from the Northern Territory? There's an NT player, sorry, a WA player down in back play that they're trying to get their attention, but the penalty will come. And time off now to assist that player. Right, just joining us, the closing moments of our first game here on day four, finals day from the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championships. Third in pool A, taking on third in pool B. Northern Territory going to claim victory in this one. And immediately following, the Queensland Sapphires will take on the New South Wales country. Runners up in their respective pools, the Sapphires. Well, they were blown away. 40 points to nil. They went down to New South Wales City. Sapphires finalists last year. New South Wales country, 22-4. They went down in the pool B decider to the Queensland Rubies. Following at 11, the Open Age National Final, New South Wales country will take on Western Australia. Western Australia defending champions there. New South Wales country, five from five, top the table. So they are the team to beat. The under-18, uh, sorry, under-19 National Final, New South Wales City and the Queensland Rubies. From 12-15, you'll see the Open Age from at 11. Under 19s at 12.15. Both live on NRL.com and KO Sports. So we put the finishing touches on this one. Nikki kicking for the NT. Wood trying to get back there for Western Australia. Siren about to sound on this one. And it's an impressive performance from the Northern Territory. 4 tries to nil in the end. And Northern Territory claim their second win of the tournament and finish on a high note. A break from us. Northern Territory 20, Western Australia nil. Queensland Sapphires and New South Wales country on field on the other side of this.